I'm a firm believer in the power of nostalgia. I think that anything that can take you back to a time in your life that you particularly enjoy or appreciate is a wonderful thing. So Warner Brothers has two brand new Blu-ray releases out that are both heavy on the nostalgia factor. Unfortunately, neither of them are particularly nostalgic for me, so my review probably won't be as positive as some people out there would like it to be. The two releases in question are The Clash of the Titans, a lovely special edition DVD uh, Blu-ray from from Warner, and then The NeverEnding Story, a not as exciting uh, special edition, or even a special edition at all, actually. What we have here are two movies that both speak to a certain generation of people. Uh, Clash of the Titans, of course, is kind of known for being this Ray Harryhausen's last filmed work, and it's got this kind of a cult status that really is pretty big. It's, it's Everybody knows that TBS aired it pretty much every other hour uh, for a good portion of the 80s and the 90s, and I think you can still find it on TV pretty much any time you want to. The NeverEnding Story, on the other hand, was more of a family film based on what I think is an incredible book that very few people have read and made into a trilogy of movies, most of which, except for the first one, have been forgotten. Unfortunately, neither of the two films holds up all that well. And both of these are movies I watched as a kid, but neither of them are ones that I watched uh, religiously. I, I think I saw them each like once. I wasn't all that necessarily impressed by them, or maybe I was just too young or maybe a little too old to really get into them. And I didn't watch them again until I was an adult. And that's kind of deadly in the case like this, because frankly, I, I really just... They don't do a whole lot for me. That nostalgia factor doesn't kick in to make them this really exciting project that you would want them to be. So watching Clash of the Titans, for example, while I can appreciate Ray Harryhausen's special effects for what they are, for a 1980s movie, uh, I was kind of actually hoping for a little bit more. They don't really stand up all that well. They're a little bit cheesy, and the film itself is actually really dull. A lot of people, when you hear Clash of the Titans, are like, oh, man, I love that movie. I would question how many of them have seen it in recent years, because I bet it's a lot less than you would expect. And I think people who go back and watch this film now, having not seen it in a long time, are going to be disappointed, because, man, it is slow. There are some fun moments. Of course, some of the action sequences are kind of fun, but a lot of times it's clearly Harry Hamlin fighting something that's not there on a blue screen with the animatronic stop-motion creature added in after the fact. It just doesn't make for the most exciting viewing experience you could ask for. The NeverEnding Story actually holds up a little bit better, and I'm going to credit that to the fact that it was directed by Wolfgang Peterson, who I think is a terrific kind of adventure film director. Uh, the movie itself still has some weak spots and doesn't really... Uh, speak to me in that way. I don't think I saw this one until I was a teenager, so I never really got that sense of wonder from it that you might have gotten as a kid. But it's a fairly fun film, and maybe some kids today will appreciate it, although I expect they'd rather watch the latest 3D CGI cartoon than a giant flying dog that is basically a huge animatronic puppet. Now, in terms of the Blu-rays, what you get are um, some interesting releases in terms of audiovisual quality. The Clash of the Titans especially actually looks kind of terrible. I, I don't think it's the fault of Warner in this case, because it's been remastered, and it says so right on the back of the packaging, that this film has been remastered utilizing state-of-the-art digital technology while maintaining the visual appearance of the original theatrical release, uh, which is a fancy way of saying the film looks pretty bad. There's a lot of scenes with excessive visual noise, uh, so much so that you can barely see the picture. Color saturation isn't nearly as good as it could be, uh, and black levels aren't really as solid as they could be either. On the plus side, the image clarity overall is pretty decent, so it's not the worst-looking movie ever, but the age of the film and, and clearly the special effects processes it went through uh, have, have are working against it in this case. The never-ending story holds up a little bit better. Um, there are still some weaker sequences with some excessive grain, more than you might expect in a, in a film like this, but overall it looks a little better, some sharp, clear images and some good color saturation, but really what it looks like is a film from the 80s that's been upgraded to high def. There's nothing too spectacular about it. Now, on the back of the packaging for The NeverEnding Story, you'll see a big box that says, For the first time in 5.1 audio. And hey, that's a good thing. It's a pretty solid mix. It's not anything particularly amazing. I can see why they've resisted remixing it until now into a 5.1 surround soundtrack. Uh, but it, it does the job. It gets it done. And your rear speakers will kick in once in a while with a little added sound effect. The Clash of the Titans is also presented in 5.1 high-definition DTS master audio, and it also sounds pretty good. Um, this is not a film that holds up well, really, in any respect, but they do as much as they can with the limited 
uh, amount of things they have to work with, and that does involve the sound effects, sometimes kicking in through your, your front rear side channels and, and your rear channels. Mostly it's kind of a, a little bit flatter of a mix than you might want. Now, in terms of extra features, Clash of the Titans wins this battle hands down. First of all, it comes with the hardcover book that is just a really great thing that Warner Brothers does. I really love these hardcover packages. It also comes with a Clash of the Titans um, remake booklet, a little picture and for informational booklet about the new film, which is coming out on April 2nd. Um, on top of that, in terms of video extras, you get a conversation with Ray Harryhausen, which is always nice, and a Myths and Monsters gallery. So it's not really overloaded with extra features in terms of what you can watch, but the packaging is gorgeous, and I think if you are a fan of this film, it, it really is a nice piece to have on your um, on your shelf. There is also, on the disc, there is a sneak peek at the new remake, which does include some nice behind-the-scenes stuff. It's only about 10 minutes long, but it's actually pretty enjoyable. So if you're interested in that, that's worth watching as well. Never Ending Story, on the other hand, is more like the case of the never happening extra features, as there are none. So that is a big letdown for anybody out there who's a fan of the film. So, Clash of the Titans, Never Ending Story. If you like either of these movies and you've seen them recently, I definitely would say the Blu-ray is, is nice to have. Not necessarily the best upgrade worth the money because the picture and sound quality aren't really miles above what you can get on DVD, although Never Ending Story does give you the first surround mix, so that's a plus. Um, and the Clash of the Titans, like I said, really looks beautiful. The packaging is fantastic, and I think it's a neat kind of item to have on your shelf if you're a fan. But neither of these movies are ones that I would say I would hardly recommend that you have to own, or if you already own, that you need to upgrade for.